so today's video is going to be on a mascara and this mascara is called the Maybelline New York Last Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara and this is going to be a review and demo on my eyelashes and no I'm not wearing false lashes obviously I have like no lashes if you look closely also there's a funny story about how I found out about this I already kind of like knew about it but I watched one of Erica Costell's um, videos and she did I don't know if it was a review or if it was just in one of her videos, but she mentioned this and said it was great. And at the time, I was looking for a mascara, so I was like, hmm, I'm going to give that a try. And let me tell you, she was right. It's pretty good for what for what it is. Um, usually, I don't buy high-end mascaras. Like, I won't buy, like, Too Faced or, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like mascaras dry out quickly, so I don't want to spend, like, 30 or $40 on a mascara. So I'd rather just spend $6 and replace it. So this is what the packaging looks like, the tube. It's just a light pink with black um, lettering. Um, I have it in the color, if I can see. Uh, I cannot see that color, but it's black, obviously. And this is what the wand looks like. It's just a full fan wand. It's kind of like a little swoop. And I will tell you why I like this. So one, I like the formula. Two, I like this part of it because I feel like I can really get the bottom of my lashes. And then this part is really nice for the top of your lashes. So, and it's, it doesn't take long to dry. I hate really wet mascaras that take forever to dry. I just like to put it on and go. I don't like to have to wait. So now I'm going to read to you what it says online. And I'm sorry if I keep touching my nose. It's itchy. And I'm sorry about my makeup. I know it's a mess because I've had it on all day and it's kind of late at night. So at Target, it retails for $6.99, and the colors it comes in is 01 Very Black, 00 Blackest Black, 02 Brownish Black, 01 Waterproof Very Black, so it comes in waterproof formula, I have the regular one, and the next one is 02 Waterproof Brownish Black, so they have it waterproof in two colors, and then the other colors are non-waterproof. So they say highlights, exclusive fanning brush with 10 layers of bristles, reveals layers of lashes for a sensational full fan effect, volumizes lashes from root to tip, fresh liquid waterproof formula. It says exclusive fanning brush with 10 layers of bristles, reveals layers of lashes for a sensational full fan effect. <clears throat> this says it's suitable for contact lens wearers, so if you wear contact lenses, you can wear this. Else. and that's all it says um, and this is also like a thickening mascara so when you use it it kind of makes your lashes a little thick so now I'm going to just do the demo so I'm not quite sure if I want to yeah I'll zoom you guys in that's good enough let me just lower my chair there we go and I'm just looking into my mirror. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Or making a weird face because everybody does when they put mascara on. And I'm sure there's thousands of reviews on this, but I'm doing my own because I always do on products because that's just what I do. I honestly hate my natural lashes, my lashes, lashes, because I think they're so ugly and they don't grow. So if you guys have any remedies for like growing your lashes, let me know in the comments. This can get clumpy, so you gotta be careful. So that's what it looks like so far. And I'll zoom you out so you guys can see the difference of one eye against the other. So as you can probably see, there's mascara on this eye and there's nothing on this eye. So you can definitely tell a difference. This, this ring light's killing my eyes for some reason. So I'm sorry if I keep adjusting the lighting, but that's why. So it really does a good job 
job. Mm, my goodness. Good job of separating the lashes. As you can see, they're not all clumpy. And that's one thing I don't like about mascaras is when they make your lashes all clumpy. And then you have to go in and try to fix it. So this one's okay. I thought this side was getting clumpy. Never mind. And I don't recommend doing lots of layers with this because it is a thick mascara, so it will get clumpy and gross. So I recommend one or two layers is fine. And I can see why they named this a full fan effect because it does make your lashes look fanned out. And that would make sense. So here is the finished um, review and demo on my eyes. So here it is when it's zoomed in. I don't have anything else on except for a little um, eyeshadow and mascara. So that is the full um, review on this. So I definitely recommend it. Um, if you're somebody that doesn't like to spend a lot of money on a mascara, then this is definitely a good recommendation. I definitely recommend it to go just try it. Even if you can get like a sample, like a small sample somewhere, just give it a try and you'll probably like it. Um, what else? It doesn't have a smell, so that's good. I don't really like when mascara smell, it kind of freaks me out. Or I don't like when they're super like watery and they take forever to dry. That's the good thing about this is that this does not take forever to dry and it dries fairly quickly. Also, it doesn't like flake off either. That's another thing I like. So it's not flakily, flakely. Mm, my God, it's not flaky. It doesn't clump. It lasts. It wears a long time. I'd probably say a couple hours. It doesn't really like wear off. It doesn't transfer underneath your eyes like some mascaras do. Um, so that's pretty much it. And yeah, so this is just a pretty good mascara. If you guys have any questions or concerns about it please let me know in the comments or message me also i just want to say thank you so much for 600 subscribers i know i'm past that now but thank you so much i never thought i would get to this point on my channel but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it um i honestly love doing this i don't get paid for doing this so i'm doing this for my like Sanity, I think YouTube is a good outlet if you're somebody that deals with a lot of issues on your own and you just kind of need like a distraction. That's kind of like why I started because I was kind of just, okay, this is a review. I need to stop. I'll go on a no other video about this like later on. Once I hit a thousand, I'm going to make a huge video on why I started and you know, just all that jazz. So anyway, that's this video and if you guys liked it please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up and i will see my next video bye